it's Jillian and today I thought it would be so much fun if I grabbed a bunch of new makeup that I've picked up lately and tried it for the first time on camera. So I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions today so you can see what I like and what I didn't like and yeah, what my first thoughts are on everything I'm trying today. Now I ummed and art about filming today's video because I'm sitting here with absolutely no makeup on my face and my skin is breaking out quite badly at the moment. It hasn't broken out like this for a long time and I'm not sure why it's doing it because I haven't changed anything in my lifestyle so I don't know why it's deciding to just freak out at the moment. So because my face is breaking out I'm not feeling super confident in my skin and I was like oh maybe I shouldn't film this video but then I was like you know what everyone has acne so I'm just gonna you know I'm just saying it I've got acne at the moment but you know what I'm just gonna rock it I'm not gonna let it stop me from filming because I love filming so much and it makes me so happy so yeah my skin's breaking out but that's okay now if this is my first video that you're seeing then hello my name is Jillian and I am so so excited that you found this video and if you would like to see more videos from me in the future and you haven't already clicked the red subscribe button then just go ahead and click it and then whenever I upload a new video you'll be able to see it I am so excited to start playing around with all this new makeup hopefully I find some new favorites and let's jump into the video I am so excited to start playing around with all this new makeup and I'm going to start off by priming my face and to do that I'm going to be using the a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer and this is a primer and a moisturizer in one. So it says that this can be used with or in place of your moisturizer and I haven't applied any moisturizer today because I knew I was using this. So hopefully it gives my skin just the right amount of hydration. So this is quite liquidy. I'm just going to spread this over my face. Ooh, it is very liquidy. It's definitely not a thick primer, which I am used to. So to me that kind of just feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't really feel like a primer to me. I don't know, it does feel like it has hydrated my skin though, but I'm a bit worried because my skin is breaking out so much at the moment that I feel like I need to use a smoothing primer or like a, like a pore filling primer or something like that, but I don't know. Should I apply it over the top maybe? I don't know, I just feel like my skin is like Ooh! at the moment, so I need to like smooth it out as much as I can. Alright, so I've just grabbed one of my all-time favorite primers for smoothing, and this is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer, and it is smoothing, it has rose hip and argan oil, and it's pore perfecting, and this is such an amazing primer. So I'm just going to take about a pump of this, and just concentrate this on the center of my face. I'm just going to pop some lip balm onto my lips because they're feeling a bit dry, and I like to do this before I start doing all my makeup, so then by the time I get to doing my lips, they're nice and hydrated and smooth and soft. So for foundation today, I'm going to be trying out the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. And I'm thinking this is going to be a super full coverage foundation, which is definitely what I want at the moment. So it says that it is a medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula. It's long-wearing, water-resistant, and sweat-proof, which basically sounds like everything I'm looking for in a foundation. So I'm going to be blending this out with my trusty little beauty blender. And hopefully this is my shade. Ooh. Smells like cookies. <laughs> so this foundation is definitely medium to full coverage, which I love. It is a bit orange for me, so I'm definitely going to have to blend it down my neck and over my ears and everything. Apply a little bit more to where I'm super breaking out to try and cover that a little bit. So that blended in really easily with the Beauty Blender. It actually looks really amazing on the skin as well. It's like giving me this like really pretty glow, which I love that it's like not super matte because sometimes full coverage foundations can be quite mattifying and drying on the skin, but this feels really nice. Now I know that this foundation says that it is a two-in-one, so it's a foundation and a concealer, but I feel like I always have to apply concealer. So today I'm trying out the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. So firstly, I'm just gonna apply this concealer to the center of my face and then using the Beauty Blender again, I'm going to blend it out. And then I'm just gonna apply some of this concealer under my eyes. So 
I do like that concealer. I feel like it's not as full coverage as I'm used to because I'm used to the Tarte Shape Tape, which as everyone knows is like the most amazing full coverage, like just perfect concealer. But I do like this one. It's quite lovely and blended out really nicely. And yeah, I'm excited to play around with that a bit more. I feel like my face feels really, really like tacky. So, I don't know, I don't feel like my foundation is setting or drying down, so I'm definitely, definitely going to be setting with a powder today. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to try this product. This is the Urban Decay, the Velvetizer, and this is a translucent mix-in medium. Now, there has been a lot of talk about this product, and basically it's a powder which you can mix into your foundation, and I think it like gives it more like full coverage and more of like a velvet finish, like the name would suggest. And you can also use it to set your foundation. So that's what I'm gonna be using it for today. I'm really interested to see what the finish is gonna be like after I apply this to my face. I'm just gonna tap a little bit of this into the lid so I can swell my brush in it easier. interesting it definitely has given my face like a satin velvety look to it but I don't actually know if I love it like you can slightly see the powder across my nose and my forehead there's like a bit of like a gray kind of tint to it so I'm trying to like really get that powder blended in oh no it's already dirty because like the packaging's velvet and now I've got powder all over it I'm definitely going to try mixing this into my foundation and seeing what that does. So I'm excited to play around with this a bit more. So far I'm just like, don't know if it's like life changing, but yeah, I'll see in the future. Next I'm going to be grabbing this NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And this reminds me of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm gonna take these two shades here. So we've got like a banana-y colored powder here and then a super light powder. And I'm gonna mix these two together and apply it to my eye area and just the center of my face just to highlight that a bit because I feel like I'm looking, I feel like I look like all one color at the moment, <laughs> which I don't like. So I'm just gonna go in with those two powders. So I'm gonna to contour a little bit and now and give my face a little bit of definition. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the Kevin Aquan, the sculpting powder, and mine is in the shade medium. And to contour today, where is that brush? Here it is. I'm gonna be using this one from NARS. And this is one of my favorite brushes to contour, especially when I want a really like defined, structured contour. So it's just this flat brush. I'm pretty sure this is called, oh, they're testing my memory. I think it's the NARS. Ita brush? Ita brush? Oh, I think that's what it's called, but yeah, this is one of my favorites. Contour contouring. I cannot speak today. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh, did I apply too much? I think I may have applied too much. Ah! <laughs> oh no! I put too much on. Oh, I hope I can blend that out. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going for a really intense contour today. Please blend out. Oh, I think I'm making it worse. No. Guys, it is hard trying things for the first time on camera because I have no idea what the product is going to be like. And look what I've done. I don't like that. I, was, I, I know I'm going to love that product. Like, I know it's going to be perfect. I just need to have like a lighter hand with it and not apply so much because that just looks, I don't know if it looks as bad on camera, but in person that is just absolutely shocking. Ah, I feel like I need to like take this off and like start again. Okay, I'm gonna fix this and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back and I think I fixed it a little bit. Not so intense anymore. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my nose. So before I start on the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my eyebrows in. I'm gonna do that off camera because I'm not gonna be using anything new. I'm just gonna be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows and I will be right back. So now my eyebrows are filled in and I was totally listening to Christmas music while I was doing them. I'm gonna move on to the eyes and today I'm gonna be trying out this palette from Smashbox and this is the Covershot Ablaze Eye Palette. I'm obsessed with the packaging on this, look at that. 
that is so cool. <laughs> I was buying makeup online when I saw this palette and oh my gosh, the colors in it are just stunning. Like there is not one color in this palette that I do not like. It is a very warm toned palette and you've got your burgundy shades over here and then there's more orange toned shades over here. And I don't know, I think I'm just gonna be really obsessed with this palette. And I love how compact and small it is as well. So it's not like a massive bulky palette that you need to take around with you. So I'm gonna try and keep the eyes super simple today. And first I'm gonna be picking out this burgundy shade on a crease brush and taking this through my crease and also on the outer like third of my eye. And then on the lid, I'm just going to pick up this really pretty shimmery champagne color next to that burgundy color that we just used. I'm just going to press this onto my lid. Alright, so I think it's pretty fair to say that I am so obsessed with this eyeshadow palette already. And next I'm going to be going in with that burgundy shade again. And I'm just going to take this along the lower lash line. And then next I'm going to take this shade right here and just take this across my brow bone. Okay you guys, I am obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, those colors were so pigmented, so easy to blend out. And this palette totally kind of gives me modern renaissance vibes by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's like it kind of gives me like a mini version of that. And I know that this palette comes with like a bunch of different colors and I think I want to pick up a few others just because I love this so much. Like I can't describe how much I love it. I'm just going to apply a bit of a liquid liner and I'm just using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner today. For mascara today I'm going to be trying out this one and I found this one on Beauty Bay and I've yet to try it and it just, it's the Fairy Drops mascara. I'm not sure what the brand is though. It just says Fairy Drops. Quattro Mascara Black and it's in this awesome pink tube and it has a really interesting wand as well which is like super cool and like bumpy and I don't know I'm excited to try it out I think this had pretty good reviews so hopefully it makes my lashes look amazing so that mascara was okay it wasn't like life changing or anything I just felt like a regular mascara but that's okay because I'm about to cover them up with false lashes anyway and today I'm going to be using these stunning ones by House of Lashes and these are in the style Spellbound so I'm going to go ahead and apply those and I love putting false eyelashes on it's so much just completely changes your look Okie dokie, so what now the eyes are finished and the lashes are on and can we just talk about how lashes can completely change and transform a look and just take it to that next level. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that lashes exist. So I'm going to be going in with a, a bit of bronzer now because my face is just looking a little bit uh, at the moment and today I'm going to be using this one from the body shop and this is the brush on bronze and they're like little bronzed beads in there and I've never tried a like a product like this, never tried a bronzer like this. So I'm excited to see what it's like. So I'm assuming I just like swirl my brush around in the little beads. Ooh, I don't know how pigmented this is going to be. So I'm just gonna take some on my brush and bronze up my face a little bit. I really like that. It's really pretty. It's a subtle bronze. And it's got a bit of a shimmer to it, which I like because it makes me look like I'm glowing. For blush today, I'm going to be taking this one from Smashbox. And this is the Fusion Soft Lights Baked Star Blush. And I'm just going to kind of mix all these colors together. And hopefully, it'll be a really like glowy, illuminating blush. Hmm. That's got like no color. It's definitely illuminating, but I'd be more tempted to use that as a highlighter than a blush because it hasn't got much tint to it. It's definitely made me glowy, but like I said, it hasn't given me much color. So I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. So this is from their Sweet Peach Collection, and I haven't used this yet. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like peaches. 
So this is a illuminating blushing and a bronzing palette which is infused with the juicy scent and skin loving essence of peach to give your face a radiant natural peach glow. So I'm just going to pick up the middle peachy blusher shade. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. It's still subtle, but it's just giving my cheeks a little bit of a rosy peachy color, and I love that. For highlight today, I'm just gonna go in with that same sweet peach palette, and I'm just gonna take the highlighting shade. Today I'm going to be trying this Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick and this one is in the shade Peekaboo. I have tried these Melted Latex Liquid Lipsticks before and I do really love the formula but I haven't yet tried this colour so I'm excited to see what it looks like. So that's a little bit too pink for what I want today so I'm going to go in with another Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick is such a long name but this one is in the shade hopeless romantic and it's more of a nude color and then lastly to set all my makeup in place I'm gonna be trying out the Too Faced hangover three-in-one replenishing primer and setting spray it has a slight scent to it but it smells amazing it smells like really refreshing and like coconut which makes sense because it's got coconut in it <laughs> so here is the finished makeup look and I love how it turned out oh my gosh seriously the standout product from today was the Smashbox eye palette oh my gosh I am so obsessed with this and I know I'm just gonna like continue to reach for it like every day now this is like my new favorite eyeshadow palette I also really loved the sweet peach glow palette from Too Faced and also these little bronzing beads from the body shop gave me the prettiest bronze look and I am obsessed with these now if you enjoyed today's video you can let me know by giving it a massive thumbs up and if you haven't yet don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos Videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!